Right out, cost disclosures. Right? Under Section 308 of the Legal Profession Act, you have an obligation to disclose your costs to your client. Right? There is also an obligation to give ongoing disclosures to your client. Now, what we're finding is that a lot of firms are doing the initial disclosure and when they're saying that the matter is going to cost, you know, estimate is $5,000, uh, and at no stage does the firm then go back to the client and say, rightio, we've now um, reached this stage, we're a third of the way through or we're only halfway through or we're only 25% of the way through, our estimate was wrong and it's actually going to cost you $20,000. That's not happening. What is happening is that law practices are providing the initial disclosure, $5,000, and then they're presenting the client with a bill for $20,000. And of course, the clients scream blue murder, as you would expect, that they haven't been kept up to date as to what's happening, right? The effect of the failure to not disclose where you're at and where your costs are at is that you're going to end up with a complaint to the Legal Services Commission. That would be the majority of complaints to the Legal Services Commission. Now, if you think that it's time consuming to keep the client updated as to where their matter is and where the costs are and giving the client progress reports is time consuming, it is nothing compared with the time that you would spend answering a complaint that has been made to the Legal Services Commission. It's quite clear what you need to do. The Commission is very clear that you should be providing updates. It is there in the legislation that you need to provide updates. There is an ongoing obligation that there isn't. Uh, if you don't do it, you could actually have your costs agreement thrown out. Right? So basically, there's been a guidance statement issued. There's a link for it there, up on the screen. And by all means, go through and look at that guidance statement and see that whether that can provide you with any assistance in relation to where you actually go with your cost disclosure. Right? If you're going to give a progress report, make sure that it's um, that you give it in a written form. Also, the client can ask for a progress report, right? But it's got to be reasonable. So if you're acting for a client and he's asking you each week for a progress report, unless it is something that you're act actively working on the whole time, right, that may not be reasonable, right? So you need to talk to your clients. The biggest thing with any of the complaints, any of the issues that come up before the Legal Services Commission in relation to complaints is the lack of communication, right? It is a big issue. And yes, I know you as managers of law practices, all you can do is tell your managing partners, your legal practitioner director, this is what we need to do and they need to implement it within the firm. But the reality is it's going to save a lot of time, a lot of hassle, if you keep the clients informed as to what's happening. 